Ho, ho, ho! Merry Flossmas, everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jessie. This is Bobo Jessie Stitches. Today is Flossmas number six because today is December 6th. How are y'all doing? Are y'all having a case of the Mondays? I hope not. Um, Mondays are... I'm in a lot of meetings on Mondays typically, so it's always a very both productive and unproductive day. Right, because you're in a lot of meetings. I'm also working on a lot of spreadsheets today on my year in work. So lots of yeah. So it's 3 45. It's a good time for a break. All right. Ready for some stitchy stuff? All right. As always, we are opening up two stitchy boxes. First up is going to be the nice list from Black Needle Society. We saw the pattern package yesterday, so I think we're back up to some goodies today. We'll see. We'll see. So today is number six. All right. Do y'all do that? Are y'all people who like try to guess what your gifts are beforehand? I'm going to share a funny story. So this is not, I was not there for this, but this has become a legend in my husband's family. So his parents, my in-laws, um, they have very, very good friends, best friends, basically family friends, right? Or friends that are family. And they had gotten a gift for um, the gentleman of the pair. And and he got a gift, shook it apparently, and then proceeded to punch through the box. Think with a little bit more force than he intended to, not being there. But he put he punched through the box and ended up punching and breaking the gift that was inside the box, which I think was like some kind of barrel or something, like some kind of ship, maybe? Something made out of wood. And it has now become legendary. I think this happened like 10 years ago or something, and they still talk about it every year. They talk about the year, you know, where the gift got broken or punched <laughs> into pieces. Um, so maybe don't punch gifts. I, I think that may be the lesson <laughs> of that. But anyways, do you actually try to figure out what gifts are? All right, let's see what it is. Number six. <gasps> Y'all, oh my gosh. Y'all know this about me? Y'all know that I have a master's in East European and Russian studies? You do not know how much this is making me super happy. Look at this. This is a needle minder from a needle run through it. And that is a Matryoshki. Oh my gosh. And she is holding needlework in her hand. I can tell you right now, with the exception of my Doctor Who needle minders from um, Nerdy um, Needle Designs, this is probably now my favorite needle minder. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Let's see what the spoiler says. I realized I did not do the spoiler yesterday for Pork Harper Bards. I did scratch it off afterwards. It did say, stitch to sweet snowman this winter each time it snows for a fun snow day project. I'm going to let y'all know something. If it's snowing here in Houston, that is not a fun day. I'll say like like silly snow where it's just there for like a day and you get like a free snow day, which we never get. It's fun. But when it's like a real snow day, that's not a good day. It shuts down. It shuts down our city. Like we don't know how to handle that. And I'm just, I sweep. Um, <laughs> So, so I don't know. Maybe it won't be a snow day project. Maybe it'll just be a, maybe a 25-7 project. All right. Exclusive nesting doll needle minder. A needle runs through it. Let this adorable custom Russian-inspired nesting doll keep your needle safe. Oh, I love it so much. I'm definitely, definitely going to use it. I'm actually getting, I'm thinking about <coughs> starting an Al Flores embroidery um, New Year's sampler. And that might be my needle minder for that project. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the tea. I went like all in. I was all like, let's jump. This tea today is Poppin' Christmas Butter Toffee. Um, all time best movie night treat, right? <coughs> I'm not going to lie. The first time I read it, I thought it said popcorn. It says poppin'. I guess that's me. I guess it does make sense for it to be a movie tea. Um, it's Rubio's Tea. Um, with or without milk, so I went ahead and added milk. Its ingredients are rubios, toasted rice, fenugreek, puff quinoa, sunflower petals, and natural flavoring. It's pretty good. It, it does taste pretty taut. It's, it's sweet. I like it. I like it. It does have a toffee flavor to it. Well done. Well done. All right. 
Next up is the Forbidden Fiber Coats Yule Ball Mystery Cross Stitch Style. Every on the even days of the of the month, we are getting the portions of the pattern. We don't know what the pattern looks like. That's the mystery. So today is number six. Oops, oops. Can't show you the pattern, unfortunately, because well, it's the pattern. <laughs> it's um. Oh my goodness, y'all! Look at this floss. So is Saturnalia. Saturnalia, is that how you, how you pronounce that? So look at that beautiful variegated floss. Blues and greens and everything. Um, oh my goodness. It doesn't look like it's a, oh yeah, there's quite a bit, of, there's quite a bit of stitching on this, in this one. Um, oh, here, let's get out the fabric so that you can see what it's gonna look like on the fabric, because that's what matters. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm excited to see that. Um, doesn't look like it's too, too much. I think I might be able to do that in a day, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think I might, I might be able to stitch all that in one in one evening, we'll, but um, it won't be tonight. I, I may start on it tonight, but it, it, I won't be finishing it tonight. I don't think I have to run an errand to the post office um, and pick up the groceries because, well, we need food. So, <laughs> so we'll see. But I'm also really, I'm pretty darn close to finishing up the Laurel Witch day one, <laughs> day one of the Witch of Merry Witchmas Advent. So, um, work on that. All right, so speaking of the Merry Witch Advent, today is day six, so here you go. Look at the sweet mushrooms and acorns. I'm looking forward to stitching that. It'll be in January at this rate, but. And here is my progress on day one. I was trying really hard to finish the house, but I didn't. But the roof's done, all the snow is done. Um, I have color completed. Everything on there is color completed. So next up is the big moon and then the windows and some of the um, ornaments within the um, tree and the number. So this is what I think I'm going to work on tonight and I think I'll be able to finish it. So super excited about that. All right. Last but not least, the joy. That's my joy. I don't have a flossness to share with y'all today. Everyone I watched yesterday was people I watched normally already. Um, I'm trying to look for some. Have y'all? Do y'all have some Flossmas people that that y'all are really enjoying that I should be watching? Um, let me know. All right, what's the joy today? Y'all can make fun of me all you want, but I'm letting y'all know. I love Hallmark movies. I have a blanket. This is this is my Hallmark Christmas movie watching blanket. I did not buy the mug. We I. We have too many coffee mugs. We have way too many coffee mugs. So I try not to get too many, even though I still find some that I like. But we have a rule that one in, one out, unless it's a holiday mug. So we still have some room in our holiday cabinet. So I I'm, I'm give some leeway for that. But for the most part, I'm trying not to buy too many mugs. But I love this. I love Hallmark movies. Now, there is a fair criticism of the Hallmark movies that they are not very diverse, which is true. I've watched Hallmark movies for years. Not diverse. That's no news to me. I'm very, very used to not seeing people who look like me on TV. That's fine. Um, I mean, it's not fine. Let's correct that. That's actually not fine, right? It, it's a reality. It, so when I say fine, I mean it's reality. But I do want to give notice that I have notice. It's not a lot. I'm not saying that they've like, you know, tipped over to make it completely, fully, truly equitable in its representation. But I have noticed that they are starting to do a lot more diverse casting um, where the couple is not a white couple, that they are different races. And that's a good thing. It may not be as much as we would like, but progress is progress. And, you know, support the progress when you see it. Um, just like when I talk about floss tube videos and, you know, making sure that you're watching people who may not necessarily look like you, think like you, or, um, you know, in, in whatever way that they may be different from you, um, that do the same with the Hallmark movies. But I love Hallmark movies. They make me so happy. 
Um, my husband likes to make little jokes because there's always like a meme. He's like, he, you know, it's like, oh, it's that time of year where I'm worried about my wife slash, not wife, hopefully not a wife, my, my slash girlfriend going back to her hometown and getting swept up by the rugged frontiers man and back there. But now it's changing. Now it's like, now it's turning into, you know, I'm worried about my, uh, it, you know, uh, the, the tropes are getting a little bit different. Um, but I love them. I find them to be a lot of fun. They're comforting. They are just joy, right? It's always just something joyful. They're little tropey, but that's okay. You know, if you can't have fun watching a Hallmark movie, what can you do? And so, but there's Hallmark S movies everywhere now. Lifetime has them on there. Uh, Disney probably has one, I think, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. But Netflix has them. Amazon has them. Hulu has them. They're all just doing these Hallmark S kind of movies. And um, and so I hope you, you, if you have access to them, go and watch them. I think that's it. This one actually might be short today. Weird. <coughs> Hope I didn't forget anything. I forgot something. I'll tell, remind me. I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> Wherever you are, I hope you're having a joyful stitching. Take care. Bye.